Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will set up an SSH tunnel from our local computer to the Bastion host. Once we set up the SSH tunnel, then we can use Flyway to migrate our data into the RDS database. To set up SSH tunnel on a Windows computer, you will run this command. And to set up SSH tunnel on a Mac computer, you will run these commands. I am using a Windows computer, so I will select this command. Once you've select the command, right click to copy it. Then I want you to open a notepad on your computer and paste that command in there. The command is ssh-i and here you will specify the path to your key pair. I am going to run this command from the same directory that my key pair is in. So I'm just going to enter the name of my key pair here. The name of my key pair is myec2key.pem. Once you've entered the name of your key pair, next we will enter the username of our Bastion host. Our Bastion host is Amazon Linux, so that's why we are using EC2 IPEN user. Then the next thing we will specify is the public IPv4 address of our Bastion host. Let's go back to the management console. In the management console, type EC2 in the search box and select EC2 under services. Select instances running and select your bastion host then copy the public ipv4 address once you copy the public ipv4 address come back to your command and paste it here once you've entered the host name of your bastion host the next thing we will specify is our local port and in this lecture i am going to use a local port of 3306 to set up my ssh tunnel the local port represents the port on your computer that you want to use for the SSH tunnel. In this lecture, I am using 3306. Then next, we will specify the endpoint of our RDS instance. Let's go to the management console to get the endpoint of the RDS instance. In the management console, type RDS in the search box and select RDS under services. On the RDS dashboard, select db instances and under db identifier select your rds instance under connectivity and security you will see your endpoint here select it and copy it once you copy your rds endpoint come back to your command and here under rds endpoint replace this with the actual endpoint of your rds instance and the last thing we have here is the port of the RDS instance, which is 3306. 3306 is the port for MySQL. And this is the full command we will use to set up an SSH tunnel to our Bastion host. Once you have created the command, I want you to select it and copy it. Once you have copied the command, let's go back to Visual Studio Code, where we previously opened the Flyway folder. Once we have opened the Flyway folder in Visual Studio Code, the next thing we will do is open our terminal. So here, I'm going to select Terminal and select New Terminal. And currently, my terminal is open into the Flyway directory. So this is the Flyway directory. And if you look here, my terminal is opened into this directory. To set up my SSH tunnel, remember I said that I'm going to run this command from the same directory that my key pair is in. My key pair is in the admins directory, not the flyway directory. So the first thing I'm going to do is change my directory into the admins directory. To change my directory into the admins directory, all I have to do is type cd dot dot. And now I have gone back one directory into the admin directory. So the first thing I want you to do is change your directory into the same directory that your key pair is located in. For example, in my admin directory, if I type ls and press enter, you can see my key pair is here. I'm going to clear the screen. Once you have changed your directory into the same directory your key pair is in, paste your ssh tunnel command in here. Once you've pasted the command, press enter. The first time you set up your ssh tunnel to your bastion host, it will ask you this question, type yes and press enter. And there you go, we have set up an SSH tunnel from our local computer to the Bastion host. When you run the SSH tunnel command, 
and you see your shell prompt hanging here, it means the SSH tunnel is working. So don't close this. Now that we have set up the SSH tunnel and it is working, the next thing we will do is open another terminal. To open another terminal, this time I want you to right click on the flyway file here and select open in integrated terminal. Once you select open in integrated terminal, it is going to open another terminal. But please remember that our SSH tunnel is still in the SSH terminal. If you look here, the SSH tunnel is still running. So make sure you leave the SSH tunnel running. Then go into the new terminal we just opened. And we open that terminal to the flyway directory. Once you have opened a new terminal into the flyway directory, we will run the flyway migrate command to migrate our data into the RDS database. To run the flyway migrate command, enter a period and backslash and type flyway migrate. This is the flyway command we will use to migrate our SQL script into the RDS database. Once you've typed this command, press enter. It is now running the script and we will give it some time to run it. And there you go. We are now using Flyway to migrate our SQL script into the RDS database. After six seconds, Flyway has successfully migrated our SQL script into our RDS database. Now that we have successfully migrated our SQL script into the RDS database, we can close our terminal here by clicking the trash can. And here, we will also kill the terminal for the SSH tunnel. This is how to use Flyway to migrate SQL script into an RDS database. If you have any questions on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.